Astaloy, aka Alloy X, crazy aerospace material. We're gonna teach you how to mill it efficiently. Boom. Today, we're gonna to give you some wisdom and we're gonna show you some chips getting cut off some hard materials. So the first thing I wanna say before we get started is, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. We're bringing education, bringing entertainment, and bringing awareness to our industry. If you like this video at the end, please hit the like button and uh, put your comments below. All right, we're tackling Hastaloy. Oh, a lot of people look at it and they hate it and they're like, oh, I hate machining Hastaloy. And, and some other people love it because they love the challenge. What I'm gonna show through these videos is no matter what material it is, no matter how hard it is, it's all about the tooling, it's all about the machine, it's about the rigidity, it's about the work holding, and it's about having the right ingredients, the right recipe. All right, so Hastaloy. Alloy X. Hastaloy is just kind of the brand name for Alloy X is what we call it. What does it have in common to other hard metals? Meaning harder to machine than titanium, like Inconel and Monel, like K500, K400. Oh, then you're getting into some heavy stuff, right? What do they all have in common? High nickel content. So nickel is what makes the material hard. And when we look at Hastaloy, we realize that it has about a 47% nickel content. Compare that to Inconel 625, 718, and you're jumping up to about 58%. And then you jump up to Monel. We got some crazy experience with Monel in this shop right here. Why is Monel so hard? Because the nickel content is at 63 and then you throw in over 30% copper. Nickel, copper, uh, makes you want a machine it though, right? Like that's bragging rights right there. Crazy finishes, crazy hogging and Monel. Uh, we're gonna teach you all that in the coming weeks, all right? But right now, let's just get back to Hastaloy, okay? So Hastaloy is softer than Inconel. So when you see videos of me machining Inconel, you see that we're right at about 200% surface foot. And our chip load is anywhere from 0.003 to 0.004547, somewhere in there with the Harvey 3 end mills. So since we're using the same exact tool, we have it nice and rigid, and the material is at a 40% nickel content, we're gonna take that surface footage and we're gonna raise it. So we'll put the surface footage at 225 and then we're going to put our chip load at 0 0.0035 all right this is a six flute tool so it's going to give us a feed rate of 36 inches per minute another thing that's very important here when machining hard materials is your tool path it's your approach right i always tell people when it comes to milling hard materials you walk into the material gradually, like walking down the beach into the water, right? You don't go to the dock and jump off the dock and plunge where you shock yourself and shock the material. You gradually walk in, right? But as we gradually walk in, we're going full depth and our radial engagement in this hospital is at 5%. But we make it up because we're going deep, the full length of the tool. Okay, so you can go a little bit down, you can go a little bit up, but that's just a good starting point, and those will be our exact machining parameters in this video.
and that is getting after it in Hastaloid. We're giving you the exact speeds and feeds to have success in this material. So you can take these specs with this exact tool and these speeds and feeds, you can bank these and use them in your own applications. And so long you have rigidity in spindle and rigidity in work holding and you're dropping down and peripheral milling and doing it the correct way, you will have success. Boom.